Derek, our wedding day has finally arrived. Never in my life did I imagine we would be getting married during a global pandemic, but this is just part of our love story. If this year has taught me anything, it's that we need to celebrate even during the toughest times. 2020 was the year of cancellations, but our love was never canceled. The journey to you wasn't an easy one. While all of my friends were getting married and starting their lives, I only dreamt about what my happy ending would look like. You came into my life when I least expected it and changed my life forever. From day one, you treated me with respect, challenged me, and most importantly, made me laugh. After I introduced you to my family, I knew you were the missing puzzle piece in my life. Marissa, I can't believe the day I predicted six years ago is finally here. It may surprise you to hear this, but I knew we would get married very early in our relationship. For the first time in my life, someone else's happiness was more important than my own. You were the driving force that motivates me to be the best version of myself. It's true that good things come to those who wait. You are my best friend and I can't wait to spend my life with you. I love you with every ounce of my being. I'm proud to call you my wife. Your future husband, Derek. Oh my God, you look awesome. Are you crying? Yes. <laughs> you look amazing. What? How are you feeling? I'm good. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you like this? Yeah, it looks amazing. Wow. Do you like it? Yes, looks great. Shemit and I, blessed are you. Blessed are you, Derek. Blessed are you, Marissa. Blessed are you, dear family and friends who have come here in the name of God. On behalf of Derek and Marissa, we welcome all of you to this beautiful Simcha as we celebrate your love. My beloved, I my beloved, and my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. Areata, Mikladash, Mikladash, Li, Li, Batabaat, Atabaat, Zo, Zo, Kodat, Kodat, Moshe, Moshe, Va Yisrael, Va Yisrael. May you, Marissa, may you, Derek, be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. By this ring is my wife. By this ring is my husband. According to our faith in God. And our love for each other. And our love for each other. And we all say, Amen. There's many traditions, many stories of why we break the glass. The one I'll share with you tonight, Derek will ask you to break the glass into a million pieces. No pressure. And each piece that you break the glass into will represent a blessing and a year. So break the glass into a million pieces. For a million blessings and a million years together as husband and wife, and then you may kiss the love of your life. We say Mazel Tov! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Derek and Marissa 
Cornicomb. What it took to get here, I and all the people around you today wouldn't miss this for the world. These past eight months have been challenging for everyone, but if it has made one thing clear, it's the importance of family and the things that you do for their happiness. Marissa, I couldn't imagine not standing by your side today on your big day. So I wish you both a lifetime of health and happiness. Cheers to the Carnicombs. As I look at my daughter, the bride, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. She captured my heart on the day she was born. But today, as I watch her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and I am confident that she and Derek are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. I ask you to join me today in congratulating the bride and groom and wishing them all the best for a long and happy life together. Congratulations, today is your day. You finally tied the knot, hip hip hooray. Derek, you're more than a friend, that's why I'm giving this toast. And per your request, this won't be a roast. Marissa, you look beautiful in white, and Derek, you're handsome in blues. Time to give the parents more grandkids, but will they be Catholic or Jews? <laughs> Opposites must attract, they most certainly do. A girl from New York marrying her Midwest boo. On any weekend night, Marissa's asleep by 11. That's Derek's misfortune, not partying at Salt 7. What a time in your life, you're in that honeymoon phase. The greatest time in your life when your love is ablaze. You'll want to shout it from the mountains. In a forest on a beach, you'll scream, we're in love, there's nothing outside of our reach except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. Love can be tough, and as Marissa's big brother, I know her better than most, better than almost any other. When she digs in her heels and she's looking for a fight, think to yourself, Derek, better to be happy or right. It's better to be happy. So welcome to the family, Derek. The Ackers have stumbled across great luck. We're also thrilled to welcome Mike Morgan, Mallory, Maisie, Maya Joe, Penelope, and Chuck. Everyone, please raise their glass in the air. It's time for us to send cheer to this pair. A toast to the two who will now go home as Derek and Marissa Carnicone. 